Hello and welcome everyone. This is Ahsan Ashfaq and I'm here today with part 3 of introduction to genetic algorithm and today we are going to see an example of genetic algorithm and how things are actually done in the genetic algorithm. So in short we actually we will sum up whatever we have studied in the last two lectures. So uh, let's start without wasting any time. Okay. So the problem which we have in our hand today is we have to maximize the function fx is equal to x square where x varies between 1 to 31. So we have a function x square and we have to maximize it that will be our objective function as well and the solution space as we discussed the solution space is the set of all the possible solution is between 1 and 31. So this is our problem. We are going to solve this problem with the help of genetic algorithm. Okay, so to step one is code the decision variables of the problem as some finite length string coded as a binary unsigned integer of length 5. So this uh, solution will be in the form of a string of length 5 and that will be actually the binary presentation of the number. Okay, so uh, any number which we select from our solution space will be actually be uh, presented in the form of string of one and zeros. I'll uh, give you a description of it shortly. So to start we select an initial population of size 4 by tossing a coin 20 times. Okay, so we get two things from this slide. The first one is that and the solution any solution from the solution space will be presented in the form of a string and the length of the string will be 5 and initially our population will have four different numbers or four different solutions okay and fitness or objective function is calculated by squaring x value x is actually any number in the solution space so let's start i'll give you a detail of everything in this example okay so these are four different strings or four different solutions. This is our initial population. You can very clearly see this is our first population. Uh, this is the first solution in the population and that actually that is a binary string and this is also called a chromosome. Okay, this is also called a chromosome. So this chromosome or this solution is actually presenting 13 okay now this one is our second solution and this is actually 24 this is our third solution and this is actually 8 and this is our fourth solution remember that we said that all the possible solutions or all the selected solution will be presented in binary form so that is actually the binary form of these four numbers secondly we also decided that it will have five different bits so these are actually five bits so initially initially we have selected these four numbers 13 24 8 and 19 and they are called chromosome or they are actually the presentations of the solution selected by genetic algorithm so this is actually the initial population if you remember in the previous lectures i told you that the initial population is selected randomly which may not be optimal so these are actually four different randomly selected numbers from the solution space okay so if you remember the second step we will have to calculate its fitness and in the previous slide we mentioned that fitness is calculated on the basis of the objective function and the objective function is f of x is equal to x square so this is our x so x square the 13 square is 169 24 square, square is 576 8 square is 64 and 19 square is 361 so this is actually our first population okay let's move forward with the calculations okay this is the further calculation performed on uh, the initial population these are the four numbers these are actually the objective 
values or objective function values or we will say fitness values of those phone number if you remember the first number 13 it has the fitness value of 169 that is actually calculated by the objective function x square the second value was 24 its square is 576 the third value was 8 its fitness is 64 and the fourth value was 19 its fitness value is 361 so we have a sum of 1170 this is actually the sum of objective values or the sum of the fitness values of those four solution this is the average 293 and this is the maximum objective value or the maximum value of the objective function and that is 576 okay this is the probability of selection in the next generation that is actually calculated by dividing the value of the uh, the fitness value of a solution um, on the sum of all the fitness value so 169 divided by 1170 you get 0 0.14 576 divided by 1170 you get 0 0.49 similarly for 64 you get 0 0.06 and for 361 you get 0 0.31 so that actually uh, is equal to 1 okay then we actually divide those fitness value on the average as well but remember that these first two columns are very important okay what is this this is actually a process for selection I told you in the previous slide that there are different uh, procedures or different techniques available for selecting the best solutions from the current generation for performing the mutation and crossover so I'll not go into the detail of roulette wheel uh, I'll uh, describe in detail in some other lectures uh, for the time being we believe that we have actually calculated three uh, we have actually selected three uh, solutions from the current uh, population and these three solutions are the one which have the higher fitter fitness value that is 13 which has a fitness value of 169 24 which has a fitness value of 576 and 19 which has a fitness value of 361 okay so the best strings get more copies that means that the selected strings are the best strings and they will definitely get more copies in the form of their children while the weak ones just die off in the previous slide we saw that we left out that 8 which has the fitness value of 64 and that is actually the minimum fitness value among the four so that's why it says that the weak solutions just die off after selection crossover take place that is we first perform the crossover and then we perform the mutation so in this way we'll actually perform the reproduction okay so as we selected three strings so uh, randomly we perform crossover on it by randomly we mean that we can randomly combine different strings okay so now there are different ways to perform the crossover but as I mentioned in the previous lecture there is the simplest technique is the one point crossover in which both the two parent in both the two parents we select a single point and we swap their tails for example first we actually perform crossover on 13 and 20 that is actually these are the two chromosomes of this number or chromosome presentation of these number this is 13 and this is 24 so we select this point in the string and their uh, and their tails will be swept so after performing the swapping or after performing the crossover these are actually the two new children that are produced by uh, crossovering these two uh, solutions these two candidate solutions okay so you can see these are the two new string after the swapping similarly then 24 and 19 okay now in these two strings we have actually selected this location for swapping and you can clearly see that the swapping is done okay so now these are four new children calculated after the crossover is applied on the previously selected strings which are which act as a parent string over here now after crossover we have to apply the mutation okay so as i mentioned in the previous lecture as well there are different ways to apply mutation but the simplest one is one bit one bit mutation so this is actually a I'm sorry this is actually a chromosome or a string having binary numbers in it so we select a bit and we interchange or we uh, 
uh, change its value from 0 to 1 or 1 to 0. So in the first string, we selected the third one. This is a random selection. You can select anyone or the algorithm can select any of the bit. And uh, you can see that these four bits are selected. And this in uh, after mutation, these bits are muted. For example, the third bit was 0. And you can see the third bit is now 1. Hey, over here, the last bit was 0. And now the last bit is 1. So actually, these are the now new population. These populations are actually, this population is actually created by selecting the best individual solutions from the previous population and then performing the crossover and mutation. So after performing those sophisticated operators, now we have this new solution. Remember that in the start, the, the population in the starting population was selected randomly, but this population is actually obtained from the best individuals uh, calculated whose uh, fitness was calculated using objective function previously okay so now we will again perform all this process using this new population and let's see if we get any improvement in our results or not okay so now again this is our new population and uh, now we calculate its x value it actually corresponds to 29 this one corresponds to 13 this one corresponds to 20 and this one corresponds to 25 what are these strings these are the four strings which are obtained after performing the crossover and mutation on the previously sel uh, selected best three strings now this is their fitness value again which is calculated that uh, using that fitness function x square so now this these are their new fitness value let's move forward with the calculations okay so these were the four fitness values and uh, okay and this is uh, actually not it wait a minute okay so welcome back i made correction there was a mistake in the slide okay so these are actually the fitness values of the new population generated this is their sum now this is the sum of the fitness values 2035 this is their average 508 and this is the maximum fitness value calculated from the four individual solution this is the probability of selection which i showed you how to calculate in the previous slide as well and this is their uh, expected count that is actually we divide the every fitness uh, value on the average okay so now this is time to see is there any difference in this calculation from the previous population which was the initial population and this population which is actually created by applying sophisticated uh, genetic algorithm operators remember that i told you that actually the exploration of cell space is done using or by applying these operators so let's see if we get any change or any improvement in uh, uh, moving towards or achieving our fitness function so the results are presented in the form of graph this is actually the overall sum of the objective fitness or the fitness value or the objective function value of the initial population that was somewhere in the range of 1100 or 1150 and you can see a dramatic change in this sum and that actually is uh, almost it's 2000 and 35 okay so for how it is achieved it is achieved by applying those genetic algorithm operators similarly on the average you can see that we have improved the average as well and the maximum value or the maximum fitness value of an individual is increased by again so this is how we will keep on repeating this process again and again until we see that there is no improvement in the uh, objective function value of the fitness value and this is how genetic algorithm basically works there can be multiple generations i have told you or i have explained you in the previous slide that there can be different ways to terminate a genetic algorithm different condition uh, may be set but the most common is that when there is no improvement in the fitness value of the individual we normally stop the genetic algorithm so that was a simple example i've explained you how uh, things are done in every iteration so this process actually continues thank you very much that's it if you have any sort of question in genetic algorithm or in any confusion in this example please don't hesitate to 
ask me you can write down your question in the comment i will try my best to answer them and uh, for further videos please do not forget to subscribe my youtube channel thank you very much